नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर अभिषेक कुमार इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एक्सटर्नल ईयर एंड यू कैन क्लिक ऑन आई बटन टू वॉच डेट वीडियो एंड टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ मिडिल ईयर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर टूडेज टॉपिक विच इज डेवलपमेंट ऑफ मिडिल ईयर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ मिडिल ईयर so middle ear is also called as tympanic cavity which mainly develop from the distal part of the tubo tympanic recess now with the help of one diagram you can see here the presence of the tubo tympanic recess is developed mainly from the dorsal part of the first pharyngeal pouch with little contribution from the second pharyngeal pouch here is ear ossicles when we say ear ossicles it represent the three tiny bones mainly malus incus and stapes these three bones develop mainly first two that is malus and incus develop from the cartilage of the first pharyngeal arch which is also known as meckel's cartilage and the third one that is stapes stapes development from the cartilage of the second pharyngeal arch which is known as rigid cartilage you can see the development of adult development malus incus and stapes which is present in the middle ear mastoid antrum mastoid antrum development so mainly the dorsal expansion of the tympanic cavity give rise to the mastoid antrum and mastoid antrum is almost of the adult size at birth mastoid air cells are not present in newborn infant and mastoid air cells develop at the age of 2 years okay muscle of middle ear so muscles of middle ear mainly contain this first one is tensor tympanic muscle tensor tympanic muscle it is also attached to upper part of handle of malus and also develop from the first pharyngeal arch like malus it is supplied by the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve the nerve of the first pharyngeal arch second muscle is stapedius muscle the stapedius muscle is attached to the stapes and also develop from the second pharyngeal arch like stapes it is supplied by the facial nerve the nerve of the second pharyngeal arch this is pharyngo tympanic tube pharyngo tympanic tube which is also known as eustachian tube eustachian tube which is also known as auditory tube so mainly three name is there pharyngo tympanic tube eustachian tube and auditory tube so it drive from the narrow proximal part of the tubo tympanic recess and it connect the tympanic cavity with the nasopharynx here a narrow a structure you can see on your screen here n is representing nasopharynx pt represent the pharyngo tympanic tube and here with a sky blue pen 
this structure is EAM. EA, EAM is a external auditory meatus and MT that is a middle ear which is also known as tympanic cavity. Okay. <coughs> Here we are going to make a two separate column in which we are going to separately write the embryonic structure and adult derivatives, the derivatives of various component of the ears but mainly we will discuss the middle ear here we will write in one column embryonic structure. This is embryonic structure and in the second column we will write the adult derivatives here adult derivatives only the middle ear will see in a very just manner so we will write the first pharyngeal arch so first pharyngeal arch give to give rise to three structure mainly three structure malus Incus and tensor tympanic tympani muscles, tensor tympani muscles, two bone and one muscle. Malus incus is the two bone and one is tensor tympani muscles. Okay. So second pharyngeal arch give rise to one bone knee part and one muscle that is a stapes and stapedius muscle stapedius muscle and stapes which is developed from the second pharyngeal arch first pharyngeal pouch first pharyngeal pouch give rise to pharyngo tympanic tube and middle ear so mainly middle ear that is also called as tympanum and pharyngo tympanic tube this two part is mainly developed from the first pharyngeal pouch the middle ear is also known as tympanum okay We are going to draw further line to make the last column and this is our last column here we will write first pharyngeal first pharyngeal membrane so first pharyngeal membrane give rise to the tympanic membrane structure tympanic membrane structure mainly the quickly we will see the development of middle ear the malus incus that is a two bony part and the tensor tympani muscle one muscle and two bony part which is developed from the first pharyngeal arch and second pharyngeal arch give rise to the stapes and stapedius muscle and first pharyngeal pouch give rise to the pharyngo tympanic tube and middle ear middle ear is also known as tympanum and first pharyngeal membrane which give rise to the tympanic membrane in our next video we are going to learn about the development of internal ear and uh, please do like subscribe and comment it below and share our video with your friend thank you very much